In this problem, we have a differential equation, and we have to find what's called the particular solution. So when we solve this differential equation here, we'll get what's called the general solution. So we'll get an answer that involves a constant, capital C. Then what we'll do is we'll use this condition here. This is called an initial condition. And we'll use this condition to find what's called a particular solution. So we have that dy dx is equal to this. That means that to find y, you simply integrate both sides. So if you integrate the left-hand side, you just get y, because the integral of dy dx is the original function. And now we have to integrate this function here. So 1 over the square root of 4 minus x squared dx. So there is a formula that we can use it tells us that if you have 1 over the square root of a squared minus x squared dx, this is equal to the arc sine of x over a plus our constant capital C. So you can see here that a is 2 because you can write 4 as 2 squared. So this will be arc sine of x over 2 plus capital C. So our general solution to the DE, which stands for a differential equation, would be this. This would be our solution. The problem wants a particular solution, so now we're going to use our initial condition to find that. So basically this means that we plug in 0 for x. So I'm going to introduce this notation here. So y of 0, you can do that, because y it's really the same thing as y of x. It's just a notational convention. This is equal to the arc sine of x over 2. So x here is 0. So 0 over 2 is 0. Then we have our capital C. The arc sine of 0, oh, and this is equal to pi. Right? y of 0 is equal to pi. So I almost forgot that. Arc sine of 0 is 0. So we get 0 plus c equals pi. That means that c is equal to pi. So all you do now is take the c and plug it back in. So we have that y equals arc sine of x over 2 plus pi. And that would be the answer to the problem.